What's up guys, it's that one guy for the one here. And today I got an unboxing video for you guys of the PlayStation Vita. Um, now, I want you guys to know, I, I'm doing this only in the car. Because, um, uh, my dad's taking forever at Home Depot. And it's been like 10 minutes, so, yeah. But, uh, I just noticed on the side while I was looking at the box that it's in char uh, crystal black. Or crystal black or nor crystal uh, or crystal black nor crystal whatever that means um so I'm guessing that means um that there'll be different colors in the future um I'm not sure about that but I also noticed it has the same type of coating that the PlayStation Portables had which were the uh, I believe it's NCA 1001 2002 and 3003 so, they're definitely going to make revisions, I believe, of it. Um, at least two. At least another one, I mean. And on the side, uh, it has a number two. So, I'm guessing this was supposed to be a reserved um, Vita. This was a reserved Vita, and it was never picked up. So, it has both in French or his, uh, Spanish and English. Um, play, share, connect, explore. Um, not the best back. Um, doesn't look that nice. Um, but it doesn't really matter. It matters only what's inside, really. Which is a super fast, portable device. Um, so let's take off the tape. Actually, I'm going to... Well, well I, I think I have to take off... That, that tape too, but I'm just going. I'm going to do it from the top end. All right, you guys can watch me try to do this with my fingernails. Okay, this is pretty sh uh, crummy plastic uh, tape. It's like tearing apart. It's very. Very uh, crappy tape. It's very sticky and adhesive. -y. Oh gosh, that's nasty feeling. Okay, well once you get that part off, the uh, crappy tape right the tape right here. Um, yeah, go ahead throw that away. That's actually it leaves residue on my finger. It's kind of weird. It's sticky. Uh, okay, whatever. I'll watch it be like a phone book, a little phone book or something. Yeah. Alright, so it looks like I do have to take off this R tape. So I'm going to take off this tape too. God, this is so sticky. Holy shit. Excuse my English. You know, it's, I find it weird um, whenever someone cuss, they might say, Excuse my French. But it's really English, so the joke's on them, fucking idiots. Um, but yeah, Jesus, what the hell is this? This is, um, I guess this is a special pre-order tape that uh, gives you cum tape. This is special pre-ordered cum tape that comes with your pre-ordered PlayStation Vita. Um, I really don't care about the reserve sticker. I know that's a reserve sticker because when I picked up Modern Warfare 3, they put that on the receipt too. Um, that type of sticker, I don't, I don't know why really. God, it just won't come off my fingers. Fuck. Fuck. Oh my god. Okay. It's off my fingers, and my fingers are sticky, so I don't want to touch the Vita. Except maybe with the plastic provided or whatever. So I'll go peel it on the sand. Oh, and it looks like... It's actually slipped out. Whoa. Oh, that actually slipped out. Okay. Um, that's weird. So they have horrible packaging. That's not good news. Um, but here's the protection plan. Simple, cost effective, blah, blah, blah. Call them, give them your money, get protected longer than it already is. Um, some games. Um, 
which aren't as good as the one I picked up with it, which was Wipeout. This game has the crispest graphics I've ever seen on a portable device. Almost, almost, well, almost better than the rendered display on the iPhone. But let me let me finish taking this tape off. Stupid pre-ordered cum plastic shit tape. It's like the guys at Sony were like masturbating while they were taping this back. Uh, they were taping it together. Jesus, I gotta wash my hands. It it feels disgusting. Uh, shit. Now a couple of my fingers are sticky and I don't want to touch my iPhone with it. So, Jesus. This is pretty shitty. Not the best start. Oh shit. I'm going to lay my phone down and actually just pull it open because I'm pissed off with it. It actually popped straight off. So it's shitty tape too because it, I just pulled off the top. Or it's shitty holding. So it flips up. And uh, see, it, it wants you to pull this up. Welcome to the world of PlayStation. We got our um, AC adapter. I'm touching my iPhone with my chin so it can auto adjust. Even though it's not auto, it's manual by touching the screen. Um, here is the power cord. This is actually the same one used with the PS3. So if you have a PS3, you just use your PS3 cord. Um, and here we got the USB to uh, Vita. I'm not sure what it's called because I know the uh, iPhone one's called 30 pin. So we got all our cords and uh, we got some quick start guides. Don't worry. Really and here's the Vita. Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> oh, and also here's a manual. And uh, that's it. Well, here's the Vita. So it's this manual, this manual, this manual. Uh, this is actually a Spanish manual. And then here's an the English manual. I guess they're expecting a lot of Hispanics to buy this Vita. Uh, I don't know. And uh, yeah, that's it. So I'm just going to pile the crap in the box. And show you guys what I really bought this thing for. Not for all the cables. But the insane hardware that comes with it. This is awesome. Huh. I should. I'm gonna put some epic music on right now. Okay, I'm trying to not touch this, like, this finger's sticky. This finger's sticky. Shit. Uh, this finger's sticky, this finger. This finger, this finger, this finger. Maybe this is why my dad does this. I don't know why. He does that all the time for some reason. Oh, yeah, but, yeah. Pressing them buttons. Oh. It looks like they put the serial number right on there. Alright, flip it over. We got the uh, shitty camera that has an unbelievable frame rate of uh, 120 frames per second. But it makes sense because uh, whenever they're doing the AR games, they need all that data. Um, and with the processor in here, they can utilize it. I promise. I promise. Um, yeah, and here's the uh, little nubs. Feels kind of cute actually, but it feels like a feels like TV-ish. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll make another video of the first boot. Uh, I want to play with the UI and stuff right now because my fingers are sticked, uh, sticky. I don't, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, but in the meantime, I guess I'll open this too. Um, 
So let's set the Vita aside. And uh, I'm actually going to use my. Well, I can use my finger for this too. Except it might be a little. Well. Okay, so. Alright. Ugh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, this gets the this gets a residue off. This plastic stuff right here. If you get your finger sticky, this gets it off. Some of it, anyway. Um, but yeah. So let's see. So. Uh, Here's the little card. Oh gosh. There it is. Little Vita game. Oh. Okay, there. There. That's what it looks like, y'all. Alright. This is the size compared to my 16 year old thing finger. Here's my thumb. Compare it. It's as big as my thumb. Let me see the back. And uh, there's the back, and that's so funny. It plays the whole game off those. Uh, I believe that's 16. One, two, three, four, five, six. It might be 12. It's probably. Yeah, it's 12. Oh, it's actually 10. So it has 10 metal shits right there. And this is the complete campaign. Now to play online, you're going to have to get this online activation passcode. Oh, shit. I'm going to blur that out definitely. But, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. So, uh, if you go out of a game that you go play online with, um, you go, you can either buy the activation code if, if uh, you have the game pre-ordered are uh, pre-owned and if it's pre-owned then uh, you can uh, just buy the online version as well for like ten dollars or five I don't remember what the prices go for on PSN but yeah I do remember that um, from earlier videos but yeah that's, that's my unboxing of the Vita and uh, Wipeout Pier let's actually let me show you guys I'm gonna stick a game in here my fat self. Alright. Oh shit. Come on, bitch. Oh fuck. I don't like it. Hold on. Damn. Son of a bitch. How do you get this open? <clears throat> oh god, I need a drink. Okay. Okay, so I got it open, and that's what it looks like. And uh, once you open it, we will take your little Vita game right there, and we're gonna stick it in there real good. Okay. It's so funny. Alright. And clip it back in there. And so we got a wipeout pure in here. So, there we go. That's how to install a game in your Vita as well. Alright, well, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave a comment. And, uh, if this... If this, uh... 
Well, just to appreciate my work, please leave a like. And if you want more PlayStation hacks, this is not necessarily a hack, but it's an unboxing. But if you want PlayStation hacks for PlayStation 3, PlayStation Vita, which I now have, and possibly PSP, maybe in the future, then for all your PlayStation needs, come to my channel, make sure to subscribe, and don't forget to just share your information. So thanks for watching guys, don't forget to leave a like on this video to show that you appreciate my work, as you should, not saying that you have to, but it'd be appreciated, but make sure to do that. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want PlayStation hacks for both the PS Vita and PlayStation 3. Also, leave a comment if you want any help or have any questions. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. TogXFTW out.